Laurina Barbon SH3. Which shall I choose? Angelo's here and today I have three different variety Red Barbon, Laurina and uh, SH3 all of them coming from Brazil with the same fermentation process will be an anaerobic fermentation so first of all have you ever tasted any of those and if you did please comment down below and share your experience I'm very curious to hear it and now let's see how to choose it. For me it will be the first time that I will taste this specific coffee and I'm so happy and glad to share it with you. Now, getting straight to the point of the video, as you have probably guessed from the intro, I will throw the darts, adding up the point and this will help me choose the variety I will brew today. Now, I will also talk about the specific variety and I will, I will give you some info about what is actually anaerobic fermentation. But first of all, Let's see the rules. Rules are very simple. I will throw three darts, adding up the points, and if I get 0 to 40, I will brew the SH3. If I do 40 to 60, I will brew the Red Barbon. And if I do 16 upwards, I will brew the Laurina coffee. And trust me, I will do my best to get 16 upwards. So let's see what happens. For who is not familiar with darts, here 20 numbers all around. And then we have four different sections for each number. Let's say, for example, we get to 17. We have the green one here will be double the 17. The white part will be 17. The middle part will be triple the 17. And the white part here, again, will be uh, 17. And the middle will be the green, the green part, 25. The red part, 50. So, the goal of this game is to get to this part here, the 20, and to get the triple 20, which is the highest number that we have on the darts. Now let's see which coffee I will brew today. Okay, let's see what happened. 40. Wow. Well, I think 100, it's pretty good result. So, Laurina will be the coffee that I will brew today. Set up everything, standard recipe, 15 grams of coffee for 250 grams of uh, water. The temperature of my water will be around 93 to 94 degree. Now let's brew the coffee. So for what I know about this variety, uh, comes from the island of Reunion, was first discovered uh, in the 18th century and then quickly spread in the 19th century around Central and uh, South America. Now something very particular of this variety is the fact that it has a very low content of uh, caffeine, which means that the lack in a natural insecticides and so it gets very vulnerable and also low yielding. Probably those two reasons are the main reason why it's so rare to find because not many farmers have decided to uh, keep cultivating this variety. Now though, lately in the last 20 years, some new generation of farmers wants to start again to uh, cultivate this variety so lately a uh, few more farmers are start to grow this variety but still produce very low content of caffeine and so uh, has a very low production so i'm very curious to taste this coffee let's see how it tastes ah one more thing Normally this cup profile, its cup profile tends to be uh, very floral and fruity and uh, very sweet. So it makes me very very curious to taste this coffee. Let's brew it. So the dry aroma smells really good. Fruits and florals are really there. I will do uh, 30 seconds of pre-infusion with 60 grams of uh, water and still I can smell some flower and probably also honey It's a very fruity uh, aroma now
has also some uh, notes of like uh, dark berries, honey, chocolatey. Okay, destruction has just finished and I got to 2 minutes and 10 seconds. I want to have a quicker extraction between 2 and 2 minutes 30. So let's see how it tastes. Okay, while I'm waiting the coffee to cool down, let's talk a little bit more about fermentation and anaerobic fermentation in coffee. But before to carry on, please, if you are enjoying this video, press the like button down below or subscribe to the channel. It will be very much appreciated. Now, fermentation. What it actually means is a process that happens to any type of fruit. And it's a conversion of sugar in um, organic acid, ethanol and carbon dioxide. And this process has been made by uh, other various organisms, such as bacterial, yeast and mold. Now, this conversion will occur and will carry on until they don't have any more sugar to convert or when in coffee, the cherry is completely dry. Anaerobic instead, it means that is an absence of oxygen. So anaerobic fermentation is a process that occurs in coffee without any type of oxygen. And to take out any, uh, all the oxygen out from the cherry, the only way is to place the, those cherry in tanks. Now, for this specific coffee, what they actually have done, they have taken the cherry from the tree and let, placed them inside a steel tank. They seal this tank and this tank has a particular valve that let the carbon dioxide that is generated inside, uh, it will let it get out and also it, won't, it will stop actually the oxygen to get in. Now, they fermentate this coffee for uh, two days and the reason why uh, many farmers lately are start to produce coffee with playing around with fermentation, anaerobic fermentation, different type of uh, other type of uh, fermentation actually is because they, what they want to do is they want to take uh, ordinary coffee that they have, they, they have been producing for many years and take it to the next level. Now, not always will happen the same or will happen, but they are producing this type of fermentation for this reason, to enhance different characteristics from a normal variety that normally tastes as a normal it is. I hope you enjoyed and too many normal. Now let's see how we taste this cup. Mm. Really good. I'm very, very surprised with this coffee. Has a nice body, chocolatey flavor, honey, red fruits, dark fruits. Wow, the acidity is vibrant and is a lactic acidity. It's actually a really tasty coffee. Lots of sweetness as well cane sugar wow i'm very happy with this cup and i probably won't change anything not even the recipe the actually balance it's uh, it's a really good cup i'm trying to understand if i can feel something bad but i tasted it really balanced and i really enjoy this cup Wow, well done. Now, I think I've done everything on this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, again, please press the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you on my next video. Ciao. Ciao.